Hi, hello. Hi. How are you? Sorry, I was I just clicked off to go. I was looking on a, a web page. How are you feeling after yesterday? I'm a, li I'm a little bit um, sore, in like a good way. Not like really sore, but you know, you kind of feel that ache a bit in your muscle. Yeah. You're like, um, I'm yeah, it's good. I'm going to feel it in my back. Oh, sorry, I missed that. I was trying not to sneeze. <laughs> oh, honestly, I hate that. If I have to sneeze at work for whatever reason, if I have to sneeze, everyone that looks at you is like, you have the plague. And I'm like, no. I'm like, I don't, I promise. I don't have coronavirus. It's just yeah. a sneeze. <laughs> Has, have you, okay, okay. what happens if um, somebody thinks they, they might or? They have to self-isolate. Um, so, there's another girl who's come from my store with me and she'd been off last week because she had like a bit of like a cold but she had a bit of a temperature so she, uh, she was like i'm gonna take the week off because if it is that and worse then um so not then she wanna... it's not like you're on a certain shift rotation where everybody on that shift would have to go off no just that it's one. more like I think if you it's more taking your own um uh what's the one that intuition thing like oh if I'm, if I think I've got it for whatever reason I'm I'm gonna self-isolate and take it to yeah. time off and it so must, it must be it's difficult um like I suppose it is contact with I think people yeah like loads of people. and what annoys me is that people like customers are actually worse like they'll queue outside the two meter rule because we're only allowed a certain number of, we're only allowed 25 people at a time within the store. Mm. Um, but then when they get in the store, it just goes out the window. Yeah. Like everything goes out. And I'm like, it's like that for a reason. And yeah. I've had people come right up in my face. I'm like, I'm like, just ask me to move. I'm like, just be polite. Like, Excuse yeah. me. Look, come in my face. And like, I didn't move away from you. And I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hello. Jackie and Team Evans. Hi. All good? Yeah. We were just talking about how everybody adheres to the two metre rule when they're queuing outside of a supermarket, but as soon as you get inside, <laughs> it all sort of goes out the window. <laughs> well, I haven't ventured near a supermarket, so I don't know. No, no. but oh, it, just, it just does so. And... So I think we're going to put precautions in place where it's like um, we had like a re we had like a visit come from I think like regional office and they were like put like dots around the store and going like up and down the aisles and they're like all two meters someone has to stand on those dots because then it's like the two meter rule and yeah. going up but we do kind of ask people politely to be like oh would you mind because of course it's still for your safety it's also for our safety because we're still there and you know. We're still here, going into work. So, yes. but yeah, it is when people get in my face. I'm like, please, like, ask me to move. Don't then come right up up, up to me. Mm. Yeah. If someone asks you something, like, oh, do you know about this? Or like, inquiry. Like, I stand like a little bit away from them, but then they move closer to me. So, no, no, don't come closer. <laughs> I'm moving away for a reason. It's like I can still yeah. hear you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that makes me laugh. And I'm like, no. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Hello, Anna. Hi. It's literally indoors, but okay in the sun. Oh, there's a child flying in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I was asking Jo how she felt after yesterday's. Has everybody done yesterday's now? Yeah. Philippe, you've had a haircut. No. Have you had a haircut? Yes, I did it yesterday. Oh. Who did it? Yourself. Me. Well mm -hmm. done. It's yeah, very it's clever. Yeah, I was just a bit worried about the back. I'm not sure why it looks so. But... <laughs> oh god. Looks <laughs> 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 all right. Ah, it looks good. Well done. I did ask Callum if he'd cut cut mine, but he said no. Sure I, think it's very, I think it's very brave to do it yourself, so I commend you for it because I don't think I could do that to myself, cut my own hair. 
Yeah, yeah well, they'll uh, have to wait out their period and then go get it done. I oh thought I had a few weeks anyway <laughs> if it goes wrong, so. Yeah, a few weeks for it to grow, grow out, yeah. Can you imagine the queue for a hairdresser at the end of this? For a barber? Not good. I think you will literally have to get in early, like, on the first day it opens again, because I think all the appointment slots will just fill up, and it's just going to be ridiculous. You have to wait in an age to get a haircut. You, all you boys could um, put Sam flying back into business. Sam Swain. <laughs> he could come to the box. Yeah. And cut all your hair. Yeah. It's been a barber shop a few times. The coffee shop. So, everyone's not feeling too sore after yesterday. Nope. Sore bums from thrusters. I yeah. went light. You went light. Yeah. Today we have a death by. Oh. Who's, what have we done death by with? Joe, have you done death by before? Maybe not. So. so one rep in the first minute, two in the second, three in the third. All oh, right, no, I haven't done that yet. We've done it. There's quite a few. There's a few um, that are a bit more common that we do. We do a ten meter sprint, which is quite fun. So in the mm -hmm. first minute, you'd sprint from one cone to the other in the second minute you'd go there and back in the third yeah. minute there back there and you'd see how many times you could get the required amount of work into that minute okay some people would get up to like 20 i think benny might have even we might have time capped it at 20 but i think he could have possibly got 21 in on one of the days uh, burpees burpees is a fun one because when you get like right up to the sort of 11, 12, 13, 14 minutes doing 11 in a row, then 12 in a row, then yeah. it's, uh, it's quite sweaty, that one. <laughs> on, the, um, on the website today, on the uh, workout, I put a couple of options there. Because if, if you want to mix it up a bit and you've, you know you've done burpees or sprints before, um, you could potentially try doing two movements this time. So I use mm -hmm. the example of a squat and a push-up. So in the first minute, you do one squat, one push-up. Second minute, two squats, two push-ups. Then three, three, four, four. See mm -hmm. how far you can get. So you, if it was just air squats, possibly be a little bit easy. You could potentially weight that squat as well. So you could make it a goblet squat, sandbag squat overhead squat if you've if you've got an object you want to do an overhead squat with um but yeah it could be any two movements uh, it could be sit up push up um it could be lunges and squats like really burn your legs out uh, then the last one um ben bergeron he's capturing david's daughter's coach from crossfit new england he's uh, they call it the bergeron beat test so it's, if you've got a pull-up bar, it's um, seven thrusters, seven pull-ups, seven burpees. And you try and get those 21 reps into the minute and you repeat that for as many minutes as you can, seven, seven, seven. So all the 21 reps, all done in 60 seconds. It's fairly disgusting. The weight's 35, 25 on the thruster. So if you've got a bar, you could potentially scale the weight. <laughs> and I gave the option of instead of, instead of doing pull-ups, you could do push-ups. So if you've not got um, a pull-up bar, it's it's one of the worst workouts I think I've done <laughs> ever. <laughs> I've never done it with push-ups, so I was going to give it a go with potentially give it a go with push-ups today. Make Callum do it with me. Um, so yeah, there's a there's a few options there to get. Uh, moving and to get warmed up I gave the example of a 16 minute EMOM as well mm -hmm. you don't necessarily have to work for the full 60 seconds you could maybe work for 30 rest for 30 but just change the movement every minute so the example was a bicep curl so grab a if you've got a single object probably grab the dumbbell and do your do your bicep curls then your oblique opener so that could be standing muscles at the side bracing into them um, or you could do it with a kettlebell where we lie on the ground and we push the push the kettlebell away 
bent over row and a ball stir. I was if you're if you're going to do this um, and you've got a notepad, I was going to get you to maybe have a. Sorry, that's the dog drinking. <laughs> so thirsty. <laughs> Uh, if you want to make a little note, if you if you don't want to do these four things, I've sort of mixed it up so we get biceps in, we get the obliques in, we get the lats in with the row, um, and then we just link it all together with the ball stair. Do, do we remember the ball stair? If you no. got um, probably not a med ball, it's probably not hard. No, definitely if you've got a D ball, it's good. So you would plank on the ball. So elbows resting or forearms resting on the ball and then you would draw a small semicircle one way and then come back the other and then send draw the other half of the semicircle and come back that is burny like 30 to 40 seconds of work on that and you should be feeling your sides um bent over row we did hello raps bent over row you could use um any uh, object like the sofa to rest on with your arm and you're going to row the object back towards the hip here. There's our bent over row, so focusing on the lat. Uh, yeah, so if you, has anyone got any examples that they might, it's probably best to work back. So if you think about what you're going to do for the death by, and then think, like if you're going to do, something overhead and a squat say make sure you've got a, an, an upper and a lower body movement I'd probably make sure that there, there is an upper and lower body movement in um, in the the warm-up uh, so it might be that you do squats as one of them or slow squats um, could be a lunge like a static lunge try and get the glutes and the hammies working I want to hear what you're going to do for your deaf buys. <laughs> could be step ups, could be a weighted step up, but you could double the reps. So you could do two reps in the first minute, four in the second, six in the third. So you could double the reps every time. And the same if you're doing squats or something, you could sort of fly through. You could potentially double the reps from, from the beginning. So start on two and then go again by two each time. Yeah, two, four, six, eight. Yeah. Is that me making that funny noise? Um, anyone got any things that they're going to do? Mm. How many biscuits can you eat in a minute? Yeah, that's something that I would actually try and do. Fair. How many M and M can you fit in your mouth before you explode? How many marshmallows can you fit in your mouth, Anna? Oh my gosh! Do you remember that thing? Was it called like Chubby Bunny or something? Where you have to put all the marshmallows in your mouth and you have to say it, and then we can't like hear. You can Is see, it? You can't hear you. That's like your it's limit. Chubby Bunny. Is it Chubby Bunny? Did you see that on Instagram? No, but I remember like all throughout school and stuff when you were like, younger, like Chubby Bunny, where you have marshmallows and you try and shove them on your mouth. Rebel Wilson did it on Jimmy Fallon's um, The Tonight Show. <laughs> yeah, give that a go. You try and get as many marshmallows in your mouth as you can. Yeah. <laughs> So from, I don't know, for my death I probably will do squats. I might, I might, try, I might try and squat some burpees. Maybe. So one squat, one burpee? Yeah. Yeah, you can do that. It just might mean that you don't get as high as what you would do if you did just one of them. But yeah, squats by themselves is probably quite easy. Um, so yeah, putting the burpee into it, that'd be cool. There's not a time cap on it, is there? The death by Cindy, like it is it? It's until you can't get any more in that minute. It's until you die. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice knowing you, Joe. <laughs> Once you die, 
Take a uh, minus one rep and then you'll be right. <laughs> yeah. That, 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 it'll, be, it'll be a no rep when you die. You've got to do it again. Yeah. The Bergeron test or Bergeron test looks uh, intense. Yeah. A lot of reps. Yeah. I mean, seven burpees in a minute is <laughs> enough for me. So much seven. Seven tomorrow? Do it with push ups. Yeah, seven thrusters, seven push ups, seven burpees. I'll just probably get one minute. <laughs> Obviously, if, if you want to give that one a go, bring the reps down. Go, I'm not saying. What are you trying to say? Uh, no. But yeah, you could go five, five, five and try and get 15, uh, 15 reps in instead of 21. Or do seven, seven, seven for as long as you can and then bring it down to six, six, six. Well, you could make it deaf by one, 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 two, 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 three, 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 and see if you can get to seven. Stop at three. No, probably not. <laughs> Before you die. Yeah, have a have a uh, play about with it, and don't forget to warm up. Happy birthday, Rabs! Yeah, happy birthday, Rabs is going to be birthday. Birthday, 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 birthdays, birthdays. Rabs is very hungover. He's going to <laughs> I am like well hungover to the point that I don't even remember going to bed. <laughs> He's like, Sean, how did I get to bed? <laughs> Where did you go last night then? Well, <laughs> it's this really cool place called Living Room, the lounge. Mm -hmm. The lounge. And uh, because it was supposed to be Amy's hen party, mm -hmm. her strange friend that hates me decided to book a DJ. And I'm like, so we were in a Zoom call like this, and there was like a DJ just in the corner, like, like doing his thing. And I thought it was going to be really awkward, but because we thought that, we drank too much, and then we, it was the best idea ever. <laughs> so we were just having a rave in our living room. That's so that's very that's cool. Is this? Is he doing that? He's doing it because of. Um, obviously what's going on so you pay like a set I think she paid she paid quite a lot of money for it and uh, yeah he just did a DJ set and then they like recorded it all and then sent us the recording so oh cool that would probably go on the smart tab <laughs> <laughs> Rabs can get some recording that's what happened yeah, yeah I had a good time fun. but I had to down a drink as well and I think that's where it went all wrong Mm. So, yeah. <laughs> she was, didn't try and do handstands this time, James. You'll be happy to hear. Disappointed, to be honest. But I'm feeling it now. It's taken me a while to eat my breakfast. <laughs> I'm thinking, why did I even do this? Like, I'm, I have to bake a cake today, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> mm, cake. I will do burpees. That will be my death by. There you go. One. <laughs> Why, yeah. <laughs> I think there's more than one to do. I'll do the extra 30 like tomorrow. There you go. <laughs> but it's all good. Nice weather, so. Very good. Anyone else oh. got anything exciting they're doing? Digging. Digging? Digging yeah. for gold. He's um, getting his I found a Lego person. Oh. person. That does not surprise me in your household. <laughs> <laughs> it's from prehistoric prehistory. I reckon it was off of the nineteen seventies. Awesome. Yeah. That's cool. We found a, a cup that curry sauce was in underneath our floorboards Ooh. <laughs> oh, <gross. laughs> and actually a really old a, a coke can that was from like the 70s or 80s like well, a, empty. Oh my God. yeah an empty coke can yeah i didn't know someone had like stowed it away like oh save that coke for later yeah <laughs> <laughs> hiding it from like a sibling like no you're getting my coke <laughs> Just hide it. Yeah. <laughs> the Blue Peter um, time thing. 
if anybody remembers that from back in the day. Time capsule. Time capsule. Oh, yeah. We were going to do that at school, I think. Or maybe we did. We did mm. at school. What would you put in your time capsule? That is the question. Curry sauce and a Coke can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what else? A dumbbell. <laughs> <laughs> One of those elusive 15 kilo dumbbells. Yes. Mm. This is what you're supposed to have, not the 16. <laughs> how, you haven't told us how your workout went. Because you yesterday? Oh, really good. James has the, got one. The, the, the CrossFit the cr one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's good. It was all right. I, my plan to get time capped so I didn't have to do thrusters went out the window. <laughs> I was like, I was like, Ralph's lost the time. She was like seven minutes. I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to do them. <laughs> yeah, all of them. And then it got to ten minutes. I did say to Sean, "You've got ten minutes left. Just take your time. <laughs> it's all right." <laughs> when she's on the frosters. <laughs> I may or may not have worn lifting shoes <laughs> for deadlifts. Did you did you change into them? <laughs> no. Good, good break. <laughs> I did kind of regret it when we were doing, because our, our wall is like 24 inches. That was the only one we had. I was round measuring everything with a tape measure. Um, and yeah, that extra little height on the heel made it a bit harder to step up. So, See, there are downfalls to the lifter. There are, yeah, but I was grateful for it on the thrusters, I must say. Yeah, they were tricky single-handed. Actually, well, that amount is tricky. Any, anyhow. Anything over three makes me want to cry. <laughs> three reps. <laughs> yeah, honestly, it gets there. And I just think, I just don't want to do it. I'm just going to give up. Never come to CrossFit ever again. The end. Yeah. <laughs> nice knowing you all. Three to five reps is, is kind of all right. Above that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Jack, did you get your workout in? Oh, are you on mute? Hello? Can he now? Hi. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, I did, yeah, I did it this morning. Very good. So you have yeah. got step up. Do you have somewhere to step? Yeah, I've got a little step that I use. Yeah, I did. Yeah. And I was so pleased with myself. I actually did 50 sit-ups without stopping. Very yes. good. Because I think they were one of the worst bits, actually, mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got like the last 10 and I was like, okay, not bad. <laughs> I, was like, I don't want to do any more. I don't want to do the last 10. Well, I, I found the last 10 difficult, but I was determined to keep going because I just wanted to, you know, commit and finish the 50 without stopping. Good. I think, yeah, for the last one, I did a, a weighted arm um, squat. Yeah. Which I, I found. You hold it like this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, which I found after the first twenty, it got more difficult. But I, I got I got there in the end. But no, it's good. I enjoyed it actually. Yeah, nice little chipper. It's nice to because you know once you've done that fifty, you don't have to worry about that movement again. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah, in a way. You know, you're not coming back to it, which is is a mm. good feeling. Yeah. Very good. Alrighty. When are you guys gonna do Death By today? Later on? Probably do it later on, maybe. After no. We need to do yesterday's. We keep going. Yep. Yeah. If you're a day behind. You could maybe make it into a five rounder if you don't want to go for too long. Change it up, change the movements. What a death by do like two yeah. movements for five and then do a different day. Yeah, you could start on the lower numbers with a harder movement and then mm -hmm. gradually make the movement easier as the numbers get higher as you have to do more reps. You might mm -hmm. have a bit of a think about it. Yeah, or just stick to the seven seven seven, but change the movements. It doesn't have to be thruster. Uh, push up burpee or pull up burpee. It could be push up, sit up, squat. Seven, seven, seven. 
do whatever, do use whatever equipment you've got or what movements we didn't do yesterday. Maybe. Yeah. No, yes. Oh, I suppose sit ups, step ups, deadlifts. Mm. Could do the same movements. I'll tell you tomorrow what I do. Yeah. <laughs> Dial in tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, Rab is like, I'm doing nothing today. <laughs> she was, I was like, should we go for a walk? And she was like, mm. <laughs> oh, should we go outside? <laughs> Honestly, I have never felt like this. Yes, you have. You felt like this after James and Sarah's yeah. party. That's it for Sarah's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never drinking again. <laughs> so, said no one ever that's, like, that's like the biggest lie people tell like, oh i'm not gonna get this drunk again it's like do you know how many times i've said that but i'm gonna get that drunk again it's like well that never happens <laughs> it's always the same i'm think i really wanted to pop over my champagne as well and now i'm like i don't even want to waste it because it's just gonna be useless oh the hell? just fight just push through it maybe that's what i need to do Right, I'll see you later. The ball. Get back on it. <laughs> <laughs> now, then I'll do some burpees for you. Yeah. Oh, send a video for it. Geraldine's just posted her little workout from yesterday. Oh, nice. Is it so on Facebook? You can post your burpees. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's so exciting. <laughs> I'll do it later, honestly. Right now, I'm really delicate. Like, I woke up at 10 o'clock and I was like, no, I need to get up now. <laughs> have, you, have you had a shower? I always find, if I want to wake up, get out some of the ibuprofen down here, then get a shower and have a coffee. Those three things for me, I'm coffee like... Is the worst thing for a hangover, I think. No! Honestly, get some caffeine in you. That's what literally helps me. Don't get any drink. I'll get like a hot drink. Don't get like a Red Bull or anything. Because <laughs> that would be like not good. Watermelon is my thing. If I'm hungover, I eat watermelon. Yes. Sushi. No. <laughs> that <You> is sushi. <laughs> that is wrong on so many levels. I made sushi yesterday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Send us. I made katsu curry for the first oh, time. Oh, nice. So we want to know what culinary challenges you've been taking on. Is that katsu curry, do you say? Katsu, katsu curry. <laughs> katsu. So it's like oxtail soup, but with a cat's tail. Okay. Cat with a kicking K. Heal them first. Yeah. I... What recipe did you use to like, make it? Well, I only had, I didn't have many carrots. And I had capsicum, so um, pepper. So I used onion, carrot, pepper, and then my chicken stock, a little bit of flour, some curry powder, some garam masala, and a little bit of cream. And it was yummy. Did you take a picture? I did actually. Because strangely, Anna was having katsu curry as well. Yeah, that was very odd. <laughs> that is weird. Yeah. I, and we had, um, I just had some salad and panko. I made the panko chicken because we put it in our sushi. Anna, have you got a picture of yours? <laughs> I only took a picture after, but it looks like um, it looks terrible because Sophie sent me the picture before she ate. I was mid eating, so it didn't look appealing. So I'm not going to be sharing my picture. <laughs> I thought we could have done green peppers and red tomatoes. To vote oh, oh, we could do that. Yes. So if you're making anything uh, that is challenging, like su sushi's fairly challenging to roll. Share it with us. And maybe one of us can take on we should do the bake down instead of the bake off. Oh, what's that? What Paella. is that film? Paella. Ooh, paella. That looks amazing. That was alright. Mm. Was it 
quite artistic. You look like something out of a uh, cookery book. Yeah. Like, it's like something from MasterChef. <laughs> they have chorizo in it. Oh yeah. Oh, is oh, it, what's made it so red? Or is that just um, my screen? Maybe just a picture. Oh. Um, I did oh, put a bit of um, tomato puree and um, and saffron in the stock. Mmm, lovely, lovely, mm. jubbly. Can you put paella in a rice cooker? Paella rice. In a rice cooker. Yeah. What's a rice cooker? You say what is a rice cooker? The rice. Well, just, oh, we did a cook. Obviously, it cooks rice. I've got that. I've again. never heard of one either, Joe. But. <laughs> Uh, but she, I mean, like, is, it, can, is it like a like slow cooker, cooker almost? Sorry, is it like it's like a slow cooker almost? Kind of. You put you like weigh the rice and then you put in water and it judges it and then it all bubbles up. And then I always get told off for lifting the lid off because you're supposed to leave it alone. Oh. Yeah. It's episode yeah. two of um, tea bags. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm in. I'm hooked. <laughs> <laughs> rice cookers and dairy free tea bags I'll show you <laughs> what are you guys eating Sarah <laughs> looks like, like oh, I'm smoked eating. salmon is it smoked salmon my crown oh I can make that. them food I'm hungry now is that avocado <laughs> yeah Mmm. Look at the card I've got. It's so funny for this. Yeah. Oh, Jake, <laughs> <laughs> That's super cute. <laughs> and then What's the... Harry got? That looks yummy. <laughs> oh. Carrots. He's got smoked trout, carrots, and cold chicken. Oh, lovely. Mmm. <laughs> tasty. tasty. <laughs> I'm actually now really hungry. I was talking about food, it's like rainbow wine appetite. Meanwhile, <laughs> Alan's eating chocolate cake <laughs> that looks like the dog made it. <laughs> <laughs> now, Harry's really jealous. Uh, I um, oh. chocolate cake a bit. Uh, what's, what's wrong? Because we he doesn't have. Is it because he has no cake? Cake and he got jealous. Got jealous. We'll share it with you another day. It wasn't very. Post them fun. over. Leave on the doorstep. <laughs> Has anybody got a really good um, recipe for a moist cake? A moist cake. Mm. Moist. Cake. I don't think so I was so pleased to found some self-raising flour that I bought some. But I, thought, <laughs> I don't know what to do with it now. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't believe you actually found flour. Like flour, can't no one can find flour anywhere. Well, yeah, so that's why I was so excited. So I, bought, I bought a pack, and I, I don't know what to do with it. It's that thing where it's like everyone's buying everything, like toilet roll and pasta. You're like, oh, I've got it now. What do I do? <laughs> no, but baking is something I usually don't do, and I uh, thought, well, you know. This, this is a time where you do the things you usually don't do. So I yeah, exactly. don't make something, but um, yeah, I just don't know what. Do you, have you got um, cacao and things? Cacao? Have you got chocolate? <laughs> um, no, I need to buy chocolate now. <laughs> oh, um, I mean, you can just make a, just a vanilla. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yes, yeah. make like a classic Victoria sponge cake. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that could be nice. Oh, yeah, I made I made brownies a few weeks ago and they're really, really tasty. Yeah, yeah, brownies, but you don't need self raising flour for that. I found out. <laughs> you need no, oh, no. flour. <laughs> you don't need self raising, you need plain flour for most things, don't you? Oh. Well, is self scones? Oh, yeah. Scones, you would use self raising flour. Yes, bicarb. I haven't got that. Mm. No, no, no. Wait a minute. You can do um, self raising flour, yeah. it's basically plain flour with baking powder. Yeah. And so you can do scones with self raising. 
Mm. Mm. Not so when good. Do you guys have a recipe, Phil. Mm. Scones? You can make scones. I can make fluffy pancakes, not crepes. Ooh. You can make American pancakes, yeah. American yeah. pancakes. Yeah. Mm. Oh, you can put some like chocolate chips or something. You might get arrested when you next go to France, though. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't tell them. <laughs> I mean, you can probably post it on social media so they'll have a record. <laughs> yeah, be careful. <laughs> Did you, Phil, make these fluffies? Pancakes? We're going to just walk up to the grain store and get a load of grain and mill it ourselves. Oh. That market flour. Yeah. It's cool. Bread and, bread and Circus in Daventry are uh, uh, selling their flour because they're not reopening uh, it. Yeah, saw that. Really top quality flour if anybody wants to bake. Mm. I think they're selling packs of 16 kilos or something. Yeah, there was like 20 pounds for them. Yeah. Yeah, we could be patissiers. Patiss what would Patiss you call them? Patiss 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 yeah. Bakers. Should we say bakers? Because <laughs> 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 that, that word is very hard to say. <laughs> I don't understand why they're not opening. They do pizza. They could be doing deliveries. Is Long Buck, but is Born and Bread still open? No. For bread and things. No. No. I assumed no, but. Mm. Yeah, nowhere in toasters. Really open. Can't go down to Ten Hands for a veggie brekkie. My pub, like my local pub's not open, but on a Sunday, they, they do do delivery. You have to like obviously put an order, but, and then they'll cook it and it'll deliver it to your door and then like leave it. Oh, Sunday roast. Yeah. No, they are like roast. Now we did it, a few, we did it the other a few weeks ago for like Mother's Day. Um, it, was, it was really, really good because it was still really hot because it's only literally just down the road and then they come and deliver it like, literally straight away. So. Good. Luckily, Nav and or Bree still open. She just order. We just order it now. Yes, yeah, yeah. so they get in like sourdough and the cheese and marmite loaf. Mm. Who's the, oh Bree? Really? Yeah. Yeah. So you can do collection. You just have to order like the day before. You just have to email your order in, and then you just collect it. That cheese and marmite loaf is so good. Oh. The problem is, is that I just go through it so fast. Like I'm like, oh, I'll buy some bread to last me a couple of days. Oh <laughs> well, if you actually, if you like, if you like marmite, we have it at the moment at Nessa. We have like marmite cream cheese and marmite butter with actual marmite, and it's squeezed to our store. We've done like a collab with them or something. That's and can I say the cream cheese absolutely phenomenal? It is so tasty because uh, we because we get to try it first. <laughs> They'll be like, oh no, let's just try it. <laughs> Omg, I got Is that marks? Waitress. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So I didn't see that in one of them. Is it? It's, it's really popular. Um, it does fill out quite quickly whenever you get them in. Sarah, you could go to Milton Keynes to work and then go to Marks and Spencer's. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, that Marks is not busy either. In no. Summer, Mum said. Well, it, it's only the food halls are open. The actual clover and the home sections are all shut. So it's, it's, um, it's not very busy. I mean, in Chip and Norton, which is where I'm having to go at the moment, where it's just, I mean, it's busy. We have people always queuing outside, but I wouldn't say it's... It's packed. certainly not Audi. You have to queue down to Oxford to get into Audi. Mm -hmm. Bloody hell. <laughs> I queued up for 45 minutes yesterday. Oh, Sainsbury's. Mm. Mm. I've got to go in the morning or late in the afternoon. It's all right then. Yeah. What? Northampton one did you go to? I, didn't, I went to Tesco in Daventry, but I went 10 o'clock and I queued five minutes. But by the time I came out, it had got really busy. You have to go early or um, after five in the evening. Yeah. That's what we did last time, and it was fine. Drums. <laughs> yeah. I guess it's something to do, isn't it? A bit of yeah. cure. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Well, like, it's, it's very nice queuing if it's like nice weather. Because obviously like, we have to like monitor our doors. Like if someone has to get on the door, everyone's like, oh, at least it's nice today. I'm like, oh yeah, that's true. I'm like, nice for you. It's going to be raining. And if it's raining, we have no shelter. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I had to make that idle small talk with people. And I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, <laughs> So annoying sometimes. <laughs> just like talk about the weather. I say it sometimes. I say it to people sometimes. And I'm like, oh, it could be worse. It could be raining. It is. was always, oh yeah, that's true. It could be raining. And I'm like, yeah. uh-huh. <laughs> you know the conversation. Like you've got it all planned in your head. Like this is what they'll say. This is what I will say. Because it just gets so predictable after a while. You just know. It's like we're going to make small talk about if we have to wait on the door with somebody. I just like watching people's behaviour in the supermarket now. Like when they <laughs> stick to the wall and they're like shuttling along, <laughs> and they see you and they're like, <gasps> and they go the other way. I was, saying, I was saying to Sophie, like literally right at the end, I was like, if I ever have to sneeze for some whatever reason, I will literally try to hold it in. Because if you ever sneeze, everyone literally thinks you have like the plague or something, or if you actually have corona. I'm like, no, I don't. It's literally because I've had to sneeze. Sometimes it happens. <laughs> Especially in this weather. Anyways, it looks like it's gonna cut off. We're gonna we're gonna cut off. It was a great chat. Let us know how your cake goes, Phil. Or your yeah. I know what I'm gonna do. And I, I hope your hangover's not too bad, Rabs. And Thank later you. on, waiting for the burpees, Rabs. I will. I will. I will do it. I will do it. Bye. See ya. <laughs> Bye.